Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. And listen, Trump administration removes experts from Defense Policy Board. CNN is reporting this. Going to go to that in just a second there. But uh, the scientist, Iran tells UN serious indication of Israeli responsibility in the scientist's death. This is being reported by Reuters. Um, and the scientist is a nuclear scientist that was actually reported as assassinated. Uh, it said, Iran said there is a serious indication of Israeli responsibility in the assassination of an Iranian scientist, and it reserves the right to defend itself. The country wrote in a letter to the U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres in the U.N. Security Council on Friday, warning against any advu uh, adventuristic measures by the United States and Israel against my country, particularly during the remaining period of the current administration of the United States in office, the Islamic Republic of Iran reserves its right to take all necessary measures to defend its people and secure its interests. Iran, UN envoy, Mayi Taik Ravanchi wrote in a letter which was seen by Reuters. Now, this is a very serious situation to begin with. Um, and what we have here, let me just show, strive to survive. I think Nick is the one that actually, uh, let's see, sent what I was looking for here on the... Uh, assassination. There we go, right here. Uh, Moshe uh, Farkazida has been assassinated uh, by Yossi Milman. Milman actually reported this one right here, east of Tehran, according to reports in Iran. He was the head of the Iran's secret military program and wanted for many years by Mossad. His death is a major psychological and professional blow for Iran. But <clears throat> the big issue, guys, is the fact that We've already told you, Iran is a nuclear power. This is smoke and mirrors, everything we're being told, all these lies that we're being told that, uh, oh, we got to stop Iran from being a nuclear power. Iran's already a nuclear power. So this whole nonsense that we're not is just really bogus. Also, Nick sent me here, uh, just in the aircraft carrier, USS Nimitz is being moved back into the Persian Gulf region along with other warships to provide combat support and air cover as U.S. troops withdraw from Iraq and Afghanistan by January 15th under President Trump's orders, a defense official tells CNN. All right, as I told you, though, we're only removing these troops because of the danger of harm's way this close to an Iranian border. All right, but here comes the big issue right here. And this is the shakeup that is going on. CNN brought out members who were suddenly removed included former secretaries of state, state Madeleine Albright and his, Henry Kissinger, former ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee Jane Harman and former House Majority Leader Eric Cant Cantor, two uh, of the officials said. You got to remember or maybe if you don't know, Henry Kissinger, Madeleine Albright, they're part of the uh, CFR to begin with, Council on Foreign Relations, New World Order is to, be, uh, to, to, to boot. And you know what I was told when they, were, when they were cutting Trump's powers back earlier in the year, I think around February, Henry Kissinger was the man that was, I was told that had his hand on the throttle and there were six people and they were governing our nation like a group, uh, like board members, right? Well, watch what it says in the very next sentence. You guys remember that. I mean, please, thumbs up the video. If you remember me telling you that, that there were six people like a board and Trump was just the, the CEO of a dying corporation. I shared that to you with it from Intel. And then we get right here. The Defense Policy Board is an outside advisory group of former high-profile national security officials who provide the Secretary of Defense and the Deputy Secretary of Defense, independent, informed advice and opinions concerning matters of defense policy and response specific tasks from the Secretary of Defense, the Deputy Secretary of Defense, according to their website. All right, so they're a board. And we know that I knew Henry Kissinger was on it, but I was never told who the others were. Well, maybe this is who they were then. Madeleine Albright uh, as one of those there. Uh, also, Jane Harmon. Uh, and former House Majority Leader Eric Cantor. Isn't it interesting? I bet you if we do a little research, we're probably all part of the CFR, uh, Council on Foreign Relations there. So 
we are seeing a shakeup. And I was told recently there was a power struggle between good and evil. And of course, I was told there were the good side of the Jews and the bad side of the Jews. Well, to me, the good side of the Jews are those that believe that Jesus is the Messiah. All right. But I knew that there was a power struggle that was going on, but I didn't recognize the part about Kissinger being part of that power struggle. And now Trump is making all these wild moves right now. This is very interesting. The first two officials said members removed also included former chief of naval operations, retired Admiral Gary Roghead, former chief operating officer of the Pentagon, Rudy DeLeon, and former Bush Deputy Administrator Security Advisor, J.D. Crouch II. Acting Defense Secretary Christopher Miller, who made an announcement trip to Bahrain in Qatar Wednesday, nearly a week after announcing U.S. troops in Iraq and Afghanistan would be further reduced, said in a statement Thursday, I am grateful of the departing board members of many whom have served for decades. <laughs> How long have they been in control of this country, right? So just think about that in light of that video. I'll try to see if I can find that video and put that in the, uh, the, the description for you so you'd know more about it. Uh, also here we had uh, this was article here, Defense Department officials fear Trump is about to start operations against Iran after he abruptly sacked Pentagon Secretary Mark Esper. Did that in a tweet there. That was November the 10th, right? Now we had a whole slew of uh, Pentagon officials resigning after Trump's dismissal. And that's also in the CNN uh, lineup here. In fact, let me just see if I can play this video for you so you can catch a little Pentagon bit of this here and we'll close. Official leaving his post. Top intelligence official Joseph Kernan resigning tonight. Four senior officials at the Pentagon now have been fired or resigned in just over the past 24 hours, including the defense secretary, person at the top of the entire chain, Mark Esper. Also breaking tonight, CIA Director Gina Haspel meeting with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell as her fate hangs in the balance. Barbara Starr is out front from the Pentagon. Barbara, what are your sources telling you about this shakeup? I mean, four senior people. I'm just going to kind of drop that so you see the four senior people there that were also uh, dismissed from the Pentagon. Uh, so we're, we're trying to find out if we can find out some more things on this. I just find it very interesting in light of the information we've already shared with you that this is going on. Uh, we're going to be uh, sharing another video later this evening. I think it's going to be very interesting with you. we got Brock Knight from uh, WATV TV coming on with us. Uh, so stay tuned later this evening. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Good evening.